Yo, yo, yo. What's up, doggies? I've just come back to Bali and there's a spot here that's been closed for two years since everything began shutting down and I've been tipped off that it's just opened back up again. There's a possibility of catching barramundi. I'm pretty keen to cast this small little topwater lure. You can see it's like a populated area. There's an aeroplane over there. I'm gonna go for a bit of a walk up into those mangrove areas there. Apparently that's where all like there's jacks and barramundi and stuff. But yeah, the wildlife has come back here. There's birds flying around me everywhere. Ew. So many birds. Get to a fishing spot, eh? I guess we just start flicking. Oh, heaps of crabs. Huge claws. Oh. Would be cool if we get smashed. Top water bar Monday, bruh. Bubbles. Could be a big mud crab in there, lah. There's a lot of stuff in the water here. Look at that crap. Oh, he went back into his hole. That's a big one. Monster claw. <laughs> there you go. Never know what you can find up there. Maybe there's mud crabs too. All right, let's go. Looks like there's some sort of camp here. <laughs> Classic shovel. All these caves under here. But dude, it's hot out there. That's crazy. Hopefully no oysters here. I don't want to cut my feet. One more here. Pretty low tide. Wow. Come on. I swear I'm getting bitten by crabs in these holes. <laughs> Psycho mangrove root, so eh? good looking water through there. So I think we're gonna have to try and walk all the way around to get to some deep, deeper channels. Whoa, this is real crazy mangrove area, huh? Whoa, just water shot up. That was crazy. Are you kidding me? I think there's a little mud crab here. What? There's Fully a mud crab here. Is that real? Yeah, it's moving. Wow. We're gonna try and dig this fella up. Don't know how big it is. It looks small at the start, but I think it's actually really big. Put my bag down. Whoa. Oh, it's probably more here. Wow. Ugh. Where is it? Oh, here. Oh. Wow. I think it's huge. Is it? What? That is a giant. Dude. Dude. Its claws are bigger than my fists. You're kidding me. Wow. This will take your fingers off. Wow. Look at that. Look at the size of this crab. Its claws are huge. Whoa. It's a monster. So it's not a female, just checked. So we can, um, we can eat this guy. Let's go back and make a fire. Whoa. Birds dropping stuff on me. Let's go. I get my stuff. Uh, try and wash it off in this water. Okay, just try and clean all the mud off. Whoa. That's a beautiful monster crab. And yeah, that's food. Well, it's just about the hottest thing in the world, so I'm going to try and build a fire in this little bit of shade here, next to a highway. 
there's a highway like just there it's a really busy area so yeah make a little fire pit here oh perfect fire starting wood get the crab burning eh? let's do it Uh, got my cotton, flint. Whoa! Well, I'm just gonna build up this fire. Probably take a little while, and then um, we'll get the crab on there, right? Eh? Smoky. I actually forgot my knife all the way back in the mangrove so by the time we come back this is going to be probably perfect to put the crab on. Alright, just got back with my knife, found it thankfully. It's already rusty, it's one day old, Balinese knife, <laughs> top quality. But yeah, let's smash these coals down. Extremely hot coals. I reckon that's time to put the crabby on. Oh. <sighs> that's a big crab, dude. It's finished now. Look at the claws on that crab. All right, let's get him on the fire. Still nice and juicy. Any kind of movement you see with its legs and stuff is it's not actually alive anymore. So when you cook a muscle it contracts and it makes something move so it looks like it's looks like it's alive. Look at the colour change so quickly. Well the flies have started coming. <laughs> they can smell that for sure. Probably not too much longer on this side and then we'll give her a flip over. <laughs> quickly cut these lines. No seeds in that one. Flip the crab over. Oh, oh look at the oh look at the colour. That's crazy. It's really fluoro this one. Look at that. Really psycho. Oh, back leg came off. <laughs> you can you know when it's cooked because you can smell it. You can hear it and you can smell it. But they're some of the biggest claws I've ever seen. It's like the size of my claws, but crazy. Oh, snap, crackle, pop. Ah. Yum, yum. Frothing. Oh, it looked like it moved. Yeah, that's the muscles contracting. Look at that. Look. Twitching. Crabby, it's time to come off, bruh. Oh. That is so massive. <laughs> These claws are gonna be so hot right now. Ooh. That is definitely cooked. Still really juicy, so it's actually perfect. Probably gonna have to wait for it to cool down just a little bit. Monster crab madness. Oh, the whole thing. That is crazy. Oh, look at the meat in there. Check that out. Oh, really good. Still so hot. <laughs> There we go. Oh, I forgot the spices. Mm. 
some locals just rocked up on a motorbike. <laughs> They're probably looking at me tripping out. What's he doing? And we're going to open up the best part of the crab, the claw. It's cooled down enough now I can open it up without tripping out on the heat. Those spikes are so sharp. And when you try and catch the crabs, they try and bring your arms into the spikes so they get stuck and then they just grab you. How tough was that? That is awesome. Still juices coming out. Put some lime. what I've been waiting for. <laughs> that is too good. <laughs> Crab stick lollipop. <sighs> Epic. Alrighty, well I'm just gonna finish this crab off, start packing up. I've got a bit of a mission to get back to where I'm staying in Bali here. So yeah, I'll be here for like another week or something. Try and get some more batteries, more memory cards and stuff like that. And then I'm gonna book a flight. You can hear the plane in the background. Book a flight on out of here back to the islands. Thanks for that dude that gave me the tip off for the barramundi. We didn't get one, but we found a monster, monster crab. So. That was epic. Cheers, bruh. Ew.